Hi, I'm Andy, thanks for joining me. Hope you're having a good day. Today I wanted to talk about vlogging and whether you can replace your traditional kind of mirrorless or DSLR, quite bulky setup with something a little bit smaller. And today I'm gonna be comparing the GoPro Hero 8 versus the GoPro Max, which is their recently released 360 camera. And what I wanted to do was compare them side by side with no additional accessories in terms of microphones or anything like that. Just being able to pull the cameras out of a bag and put them on a tripod or a selfie stick and just use them just like that. Okay, so I've got the GoPro Hero 8 set up on a car mount with the GoPro Max next to it. So this is the GoPro Hero 8 and this is the GoPro Max. GoPro Max is shooting in 360 video at the moment and both are set to auto pretty much everything so auto shutter um, wind noise for the audio is set to auto just because I want to check how it does obviously it's not windy in the car but just want to see whether they're both consistent or not in that mode um, I've also set uh, sharpness to medium on both cameras um, auto white balance, GoPro color, uh, and yeah, I'll put up the settings on the video uh, if there's anything I've forgotten. Um, both lenses are set to wide, so the GoPro is in wide, and it's also got the hyper smooth high on. I haven't put it in boost because that crops in quite a bit, so I've just put it in high, which only crops in 10%. And then the GoPro Max has obviously got the Max Hypersmooth on it. So I have got to go for a little errand to buy a new tap because my little boy managed to snap the tap in our bathroom this morning. So let's go and try this out, see how it is. Today I'm trying to work out which of these cameras is best for vlogging. Obviously, both of them are pretty compact, pretty light, pocketable cameras. The GoPro Max is a little bit bigger than the Hero, probably about half, half the size again. Um, but they're both quite small compared to the sort of standard mirrorless camera vlogging setup you might have. The Max is in 360 mode, so it's shooting in 5.6K, but obviously once I reframe that, it's going to be more like 1080p full HD because obviously once you crop into the 5.6k sensor readout, you're not getting all of that data, you're just getting a proportion of it. Um, it's a really bright day today, uh, because it's November, so there's going to be potential for real blown out highlights. And I've just gone on to the A41, which is a fairly noisy road surface. And I'm going to raise my voice a little bit, but try and keep it similar. Uh, it's a dual carriageway, so I'm, I'm going like 70 miles an hour. Um, so I don't know how the cameras are both dealing with that sound to change, whether they're still filtering out my voice or if I sound muffled. Maybe the auto wind noise might be kicking in. But yeah, it's a good test. In a minute, I'm going to do a quick hyperlapse test on both. And obviously, the benefit with the Hero Max is that if I want to pan around and show you what I'm seeing out the front of the car or anywhere else in the car, I can do that straight away. Whereas with the Hero 8, obviously, it's a fixed view, so what you can see now is all you'd be able to see. So I think the Max gives you that flexibility. The downside to the Max is that you don't get that 4K resolution at the moment. Um, perhaps in future they will bring that to the next version of this camera, but at the moment 1080p is all you're going to get roughly when you reframe and if you put it into hero mode where you're just using either the front or rear camera on its own, more like a GoPro hero, you're gonna get maybe um, 
well you'll get 1440p as the max but that's in a 4x3 resolution so if you're looking at 16x9 it's going to be 1080 so again you're not getting 4 point uh, you're not getting 4k and you're not getting 2.7k the GoPro obviously can shoot in 4k 2.7k 1440 and 1080 and it can do that in slow motion as well and that's the other thing you're not getting with the max you don't get slow motion so um, that's really the trade-off I think the flexibility of the max to be able to see 360 and reframe 360 and shoot in hero mode as the alternative if you don't want to have to have the workflow of the 360 versus the quality and capabilities of the GoPro Hero 8. So I'm just going to pull in and just swap the cameras into their hyperlapse modes and sorry I should just say before I do that the other benefit is I can see exactly what my framing is on this camera whereas on the GoPro there um, all I can see is the front screen and it's not telling me anything other than that it's still recording and that um, I've got battery and SD card left so that's a big benefit I think of this camera and obviously the Osmo Pocket does that as well you can um, have the front screen on Just put both cameras into super view and got the GoPro Hero 8 is now in <coughs> just hyper smooth on. You can't have high or boost in this mode. It's still in 4K that is. Um, the GoPro Max is um, in 1080p and max hyper smooth is on. So this is basically using the max in its hero mode. So good to compare the quality of the GoPro Hero 8 black versus the max in this mode because this is what they're suggesting you can use the max for to almost replace your other GoPro so you only need one camera that can shoot 360 and normal video. Now I haven't changed any of the settings on the Max in terms of the audio I probably should have actually looked at which way the microphone was pointing. Um, hopefully it's recording the audio from the front or yeah, the front facing mic that is the side I think actually they call it the back side but the side with the screen on it the GoPro is just not all on auto so you don't get to choose which mics record particularly everything else is still the same and yeah we'll see what the footage looks like in comparison to each other okay so quick vlog test of both of these on a tripod outside in the wind winds coming from this direction and it is about five degrees so it's pretty cold pretty windy um, GoPro is obviously facing me set to 4k 24 frames a second um, I'll put up the settings that I've got for the GoPro but essentially wind is on for the audio and the max is set in 360 video with uh, 360 stereo audio and the wind is on as well so uh, the GoPro is in super view at the moment so it's widest um, field of view and the max is obviously 360 so don't know what the wind's like don't know how it sounds okay so I am about a foot away from both cameras and they're just on a bracket together what I'm going to do is walk a few feet away from the cameras and see what they sound like I'm not going to change my voice so I'm walking away now how does it sound now I'm about six foot from the camera don't know what it will sound like don't know if you can still pick up the sound properly obviously I can start walking around the max and I can in post I can reframe this footage and it will follow me 
don't know how it sounds I'm coming back closer to the max now don't know how the audio sounds whether it sounds okay um, hopefully it's recording the audio from all the different microphones now in terms of a vlogging test I'm I've got the camera pointed the GoPro pointed towards me and away from the Sun what I'm now going to do is just spin it round and you can see how these two cameras deal with the highlights and shadows so you can now see that the um, it's pretty bright just behind that cloud so this is quite a good test because obviously the where the sun is it's really bright and then the shadow of the trees I have noticed that the GoPro Max seems to crush the blacks quite a lot so I'm just gonna pan you round show you what this looks like and then I'm gonna do the same test for both cameras but with the Max in hero mode Okay, so I've just put the Max in hero mode and it's on uh, the super view. GoPro is still on super view. Uh, the Max is now recording uh, towards, it's the lens that's at the back, so where the touch screen is. And I've also set the audio to be recording from that microphone. Wind is still on both. I'm gonna stand out the way. The wind hits the cameras. Don't know what it's like whether it's good audio or whether you can really pick up the wind see how it deals with it um, i'm now going to put them both into uh, linear which is a mode that a lot of people like to use for vlogging the gopro hero 8 is the first time you can have 4k 30 in linear mode on this camera so i'm going to try that now okay so both of them in linear I can obviously see myself on the max. I'm stood probably about just over a foot away from the cameras, so maybe about, yeah, just under half a meter. And if I walk backwards, this is the sound you're getting from both cameras. We'll swap between them as we go. So this is the max, and then this is the GoPro Hero 8. Sound test one, two, three on the GoPro Max. Sound test one, two, three on the Hero 8. So I don't know what the difference is, don't know what the field of view, if it looks the same. Um, obviously the lenses on these cameras are quite different with the GoPro Max, it's, it's a spherical lens. The sun's just come out, it's super bright. So actually I'm just gonna turn this around, I'm gonna lift the tripod up and turn it around and see how this deals with it. Okay, so it looks like the Max is doing quite a good job. I point it right up to the sky it's I'm in shadow but it's lifting my shadow quite well quite impressed with that don't know what it will look like on screen but on the back of the camera it looks decent hopefully the GoPro is doing a good job I've noticed there's a little bit of uh, stuff on the GoPro lens so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wipe that off That is the trouble with these cameras, they attract dust and dirt really quickly. Um, particularly the uh, spherical lenses that protrude on the Max camera. So yeah, don't know what you think of this, don't know what you think of the quality. Um, I'm holding this on my tripod. What I'm now going to do is just take the centre column out of my tripod and uh, just walk with it, see how it is for a walking test. So, um, I've got the GoPro in hyper smooth just on, I haven't got it in high or boost. And this is the um, what it looks like when you're walking with it. So I'm walking into the wind now, but obviously the microphones should be pointing towards where I'm speaking, so away from the wind. And I'm just walking at normal pace on some fairly uneven ground. And then if I turn around and walk up the hill, 
Now I'm walking into the wind, so that'll be interesting to see if there's any real difference. Sorry, I'm walking away from the wind now, but the cameras are facing into the wind. So don't know what that's going to look like. This is just arm's length, just a standard walking. And then what I'm going to do is just do a quick run. So remember, this is just with Hypersmooth on. What I'll do in a minute is just put it put the GoPro Hero 8 into boost mode and see what that looks like. Okay, it's pretty windy now, so let's see how this deals with it. Okay, so I'm not really dressed for running, as you can see. So, hopefully that gives you an idea of the stabilisation. I'm going to put the GoPro into boost mode now and see what that looks like. Whoa, it's cold. Okay, so, just put the GoPro Hero 8 into boost, so it will probably have cropped in a bit. I think it crops in about 25%. So, let's just do that same running test with um, the GoPro and Boost. Don't know if there's any difference. Don't know how that looks, whether it's stabilising it well or not. Okay, I'm going to do a 360 clip with the Max now to see how different it is, whether the stabilisation's any different. Okay, so I'm going to do the same test. Max is now in 360. And let's just run with it. I have tested the Max on my mountain bike. I can show you some clips of that. And it is really good, the stabilisation, I'd say. It's pretty good in terms of how good it is compared to like the Insta360 ONE X. It's probably slightly better, slightly more consistent. Although the stitch line isn't probably as good. I'm going to do another video on those two cameras, so um, I'll try and link that up in the description below. Um, yeah, I am interested to see how these two look compared side by side. Um, which one looks better okay so just before I go back to the studio one last test I want to do is just trying both of these cameras with the wind reduction off so I'm going to put the max back into hero mode and see what it looks like with uh, see what it sounds like even with no wind reduction so there is a fair breeze up today. So let's get that going. Okay, so I'm now stood with the wind behind me. So the wind should be into the cameras. And I'm just going to run with them into the wind. So I'm running towards the wind direction now. So I don't know how much of a difference you'll be able to note. The wind's died down a little bit. There was a stiffer breeze earlier on, but um, yeah. I know from the max tests that I've done on the bike that it deals with wind noise really well. Massively, massively better than the Insta360 ONE X, for example. So yeah, let's see what both of these look like back in the studio. Okay, so what did you think? Which camera did you prefer for vlogging for, from those tests? I think overall the image quality from the GoPro is obviously superior. It's shooting 4K or 2.7K and it can do slow motion in those frame rates. And also the sharpness of the image, um, when you look at the max to the sides of the image, it, it does get a little bit soft, i found. Um, similarly, the colours on the Max, I feel like they're a little bit oversaturated and a little bit too yellow and warm tinted. 
uh, compared to the Hero 8. Obviously they're both shooting GoPro Color, so I'm not sure why there's a particular difference, but you do notice it in some of the shots. There is a slight yellow tinge to the image. So I think I prefer the Hero 8 overall, but obviously this is something you can correct in post if you wanted to. Dynamic range on both cameras, I'd say is pretty comparable. Again, I'd say the Hero 8 is probably slightly better, um, but yeah, there, there wasn't much to choose between them in most of the shots. Um, obviously, with the Max, when you reframe the footage, you're getting only about a 1080p compared to the GoPro 4K. So that's definitely something to think about, but the Max is giving you that flexibility to move around uh, and pan around the image, which I think is a really good thing, but obviously it does have a extra stage in terms of workflow and time. Um, the field of view, I think the Max is slightly better in this regard because the Super View gives you that wider field of view than the GoPro's Hero 8 Super View. Um, overall, they're pretty comparable. When I put it into linear mode on the lenses, they looked almost identical there were slight differences but yeah overall either one of these would be great for vlogging they they're really easy to get you in the frame and when you're holding it out at arm's length you're filling that frame so um, obviously the max has got that front-facing touchscreen which helps to frame up your shots so I'd say again it's probably slightly better for that um, stabilization they both did a really good job I don't think there's a huge difference between them to be honest I think when the Max is in its 360 mode, the stabilization is probably slightly better than the GoPro Hero 8. But I think when it's in Hero mode, it's probably not quite as good as the Hero 8 when it's got its high or boost modes on. But overall, either one of these is fine. For walking and talking, it, it's really stable. I'm really impressed with the stabilization of the Hypersmooth 2.0. The next big one is audio. I think there's some big differences between the two cameras in terms of audio, and hopefully that came across in the video. When I didn't boost the audio from the Max, it was quite a bit quieter than the Hero 8, probably about three or four dB less, um, and it is noticeable. The benefit of that is that it's, um, when you do boost it, it sounds like a cleaner audio signal, I think. Um, when you hear the GoPro Hero 8, you can actually hear all the ambient noise because it's kind of boosting your voice. Um, so yeah, I think when the wind is um, set to auto, so it will cut in if, there's, if it thinks there's wind, if it's set to auto on both cameras, although the Max is quieter, and I thought it sounded worse to start with, once you boost that up a bit, it actually sounds better, I think, overall. But See what you think. Um, and then, yeah, just generally, I was quite impressed with the audio out of both cameras, particularly the Hero 8, actually. I didn't think it would be as good as it was. Um, I like the fact that you've got spatial audio on the Max, so when you are using it in 360 mode, you can um, walk around the camera and you still get consistent audio out of it. So I hope that came across on the video. I'm not sure um, from the tests I did whether it would have done. The other thing that I wanted to talk about finally is the user interface on both cameras. Obviously they're both GoPros and they use pretty much the same user interface, but the one on the Hero 8 is just a bit better in terms of customization and it's got a few more options. So something to bear in mind when you're thinking about choosing either of these cameras. But yeah, ultimately I think both are really good tools for vlogging. I think the fact you can add external audio options to the GoPro via an adapter is probably a benefit to some people because there may be situations where you want to walk further away from the camera and use a wireless setup like the Rode Wireless Go or something like that and you can't really do that with the Max because there's nowhere to plug in any kind of adapter or um, external audio. So. That's definitely a big consideration. But then the Max gives you that extra flexibility of shooting 360 and reframing if that's something you want to do. So either of these cameras are great. The Hero 8 is 
quite a bit cheaper at the moment. Um, it's been on a deal for 329 um, in the UK and that's coming with some accessories like memory card and stuff like that. So worth picking up if you can get it at that price. Um, the max I think is still 499 or maybe 479. Um, but yeah, overall either of these cameras would be really good. And yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. Um, if you do want to pick up either of these cameras, I'll try and put um, some links in the description below. They are affiliate links, so they do help the channel grow. If you purchase through those, it doesn't cost you any more money. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.